He kissed me angrily, roughly, his other hand gripping tight around the back of my neck, making escape impossible. I shoved against his chest with all my strength, but he didn't even seem to notice. His mouth was soft, despite the anger, his lips molding to mine in a warm, unfamiliar way. I grabbed at his face, trying to push it away, failing again. He seemed to notice this time, though, and it aggravated him. His lips forced mine open, and I could feel his hot breath in my mouth. Acting on instinct, I let my hands drop to my side and shut down. I opened my eyes and didn't fight, didn't feel. Just waited for him to stop. Now guys, believe it or not, this is not an account by a woman given to some police officer or newspaper about sexual assault. This is Twilight. What? <laughs> Let's take a look at some other images from media today. This is Dolce and Gabbana, Spider-Man, Victoria's Secret models, Calvin Klein jeans, Fifty Shades of Grey, and Belvedere Vodka. In each of these images, the inferiority of women is implicit. And you know, if we're supposed to find these images and like a description of Jacob sexually assaulting Bella as erotic or sexy, then why is rape even illegal? You know, we live in a rape culture, a culture where people think it's okay to blame the victim and that we choose to live in a state of collective ignorance. Now, before we go any further, we'd like to make it clear what exactly it is that we're talking about. This is the definition of rape. However, this, this is, is not what we're talking mean. about. You know, rape, when it comes to rape culture, is so much broader than the forceful penetration of one person to another. It is an act of violation on our humanity. It is abuse. It is violent. And it is awful. Now, I'm sure we've probably lost half the audience by now. But you know, a lot of you guys are probably sitting back in your chairs thinking, yeah, okay, women, feminists, blah, blah, rape, whatever, it doesn't really affect me. But it turns out that rape culture negatively affects guys too. In fact, uh, men are just as affected by rape culture as women are. Men should be offended when people claim that women should be the ones preventing rape. By not wearing certain things. By not going to certain places. By not acting a certain way by not having a certain sexual orientation. You know, this line of thinking presumes that men are so base, so animalistic, that it takes extraordinary effort for them to walk down the street and not rape the first thing they see in a skirt. It presumes, it presumes your natural, natural state is, is rapist. rapist. And guys, don't be coming out of biology like, oh my god, I totally got raped by that test. Oh, Jesus. You know, do you even hear the words that are coming out of your mouth? Do you understand what exactly that you're saying? The same applies to when you walk out of a, um, a football game or a basketball game. When you say phrases like this, do you realize that you're associating rape with things like dominance and winning? And, you know, rape culture didn't manifest itself, you know, out of thin air. We as people perpetuate it by things like victim blaming. And what boggles my mind is that society has the gall to blame an 11 year old girl for being gang raped by 20 men. Did you know that in the United States, a woman has twice the chance of being raped than of getting breast cancer? And did you know that by the time we finish presenting two people in the United States who have been sexually assaulted? Now, in the short time that we had here to talk to you today, we can't cover everything that there is to say about rape. But what we can do is leave you with some small steps that you can take to start making a change. Okay, first of all, speak up. You know, you're strolling across Macfield, yeah, minding my own business, and one of your friends goes, <laughs> you know what, I totally raped that guy in Tetris. You just need to be like, all right guys, stop. What are, you, what are you doing? Why would you use the word rape? There are so many other choices of words that would get your point across equally as well. Realize that rape is a global issue. It's, not just, in the, uh, it's just not just in the United States. Rape culture occurs everywhere across all nations and it's an issue that can only be solved by awareness with all nations. And we should really take steps to reevaluate what, like, what masculinity even is. You know, why is it that being masculine has to be associated with violence or dominance or aggression? One of the most important things that you can do is don't blame the victim because it's never the victim's fault for being raped. And please, for the love of all things great and good, 
don't laugh at rape jokes. Now, we realize that society today has a cultural taboo on the topic of rape. But you know, we can take steps to combat that by examining the way that we engage in discourse about rape. Thank, Thank you. you.